Hello, this is Matthew Cronin. I'm with Triple Net Investment Advisors, and we're going to go through this new Walgreens listing that we brought to market uh, about seven days ago. Um, and I'll tell you a little bit about where we brought it out and maybe why we're getting a little price resistance, where this might be a good deal for an investor, and and I'll walk you through the property. So this is a Walgreens pharmacy. Um, as you can tell in the picture, it's a representative photo. However, to me, it clearly looks like it used to be Rite Aid, and that's just what happened in this property. This property is a Walgreens, uh, and it has eight acres, which is a lot more than usual, in upstate New York. So there's a bonus value-add opportunity to build on the land in the back. Um, and we're, we listed it at a starting point of a six cap uh, and raised it to a seven cap after we didn't get any uh, offers. Did get a lot of offers at a seven cap. And I'll tell you why it makes a little more sense towards a seven cap, maybe even a seven and a half cap compared to a six cap. Now the NOI is pretty normal, uh, maybe a little even low for Walgreens. Um, interesting part about this property is that they have 2% rent increases um, every five-year option. And there are four or five-year options. Typically with Walgreens, you see 10 five-year options. However, this former Rite Aid only allowed four or five-year options. Um, you know, the reason this is going for a seven cap, not only is it a former Rite Aid, which is a deterrent from a lot of pharmacy buyers, it only has three and a half years remaining left and it does not report store sales. So if we had a good idea of how the store sales went with this property, it might be a little bit more aggressive with the cap rate. However, we don't know the store sales and it's in upstate New York. It's in a, in a, in a town with only 4,000 uh, population within one mile, 17,000 within three miles. Not terrible. It's in the middle of Sarasota Springs in Albany, New York. Not a terrible location right next to a major highway. Um, but the value add part of this is that you have six acres that you can develop land on if you're a northeast land developer. Right next to a heart, uh, Hannaford, right next to a major highway. Um, and this is what the property really looks like actual photo of the property um, another aerial view a rent schedule and let's go a little bit deeper you know looking at an, looking at an aerial view of this property a lot of green a lot of green a lot of the times you want to buy a pharmacy on a hard signalized corner somewhere that looks like this you see all that gray I would buy pharmacy there um, if I were willing to take a bet on, if I knew this market and I was willing to take a bet on a property that I knew, the surrounding area, then I would buy this. However, let's look at the comps and let's take a look where this deal might make a lot of sense and where this deal actually might get done. You only see one four year, this is every single Northeast Walgreens and CVS that has sold in the last year. So these are pretty accurate comps in the Northeast, uh, in upstate New York. So if you take a look at them a little bit more closely, anything with less than 10, less than 10 years, I, I pulled the comps. Um, this is something with three and a half years, I went for an eight, six cap, seven years, seven, seven cap, four years, seven, seven, six, seven cap, four years, seven, seven, three cap, six years, uh, six, seven, seven cap, four years, six, seven cap, seven years, five, six cap. So when we took this out of a six cap, we knew we wouldn't be able to get any, any bids, um, at a six cap because the comps did not show it. However, we were able to get the seller to raise his expectations, cap rate expectations, in order to get him more offers and we have by raising it to a seven cap we've gotten way more offers on this property and a good sign